What's going on guys? You already know it's your boy M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes. Eh, eh, Mohamed Salah. Eh, eh, Sadio Mane of Liva of Liva. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> you already know it's your boy my K vibes. I'm back again with another video with another Afcon video. So this African Cup of Nations. 2021 stroke 2022 competition has been so interesting so far today right mohammed salah's egypt won against guess who they won against they won against morocco two goals to one so you know the, the fun fact about this game right was the fact that mohammed salah he scored and he also gave an assist so he scored and he gave an assist and also sadio mane Sadio Mane also helped his team win against Equatorial Guinea. So he helped his team win against Equatorial Guinea. I'm really happy for both Mane and uh, Salah. They're actually doing their club, the Liverpool Football Club, proud. They're doing their nations proud and talking about their countries and uh, let them just keep going. You know, I'm rooting for them. Please, guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor by subscribing right now. Click on that notification bell so you never miss any uploads of mine and give this video a big thumbs up so it can get to more people and they can enjoy my videos thank you for that so now let's get into the video for today so like i was saying mohammed salah's egypt they won today against morocco and senegal won against equatorial guinea so salah scored one he scored the first goal and he made the assist for the second goal that made them win the game Mane, on the other hand, made an assist for the first goal that Senegal scored. Sadio Mane, Hile, Sadio Mane, and Grand Jouet. You understand? But anyways, so he made an assist for the first goal that Senegal scored. And uh, yeah, they went on to win by three goals to one. But it's only one team that can win this competition. Which team do you think is going to be? Let me know in the comments. Put your comments down below. Let's interact. I'll be replying to comments. So now, guys, we're going to be taking a look at um, both games and we'll take a look at the stats of the game, how both teams played. So first of all, we'll start with um, the Egypt-Morocco game, right? So Mo, Mo Salah scored in the 53rd minute. Almighty Salah. He scored in the 53rd minute and he also made an assist for Trezeguet. I, I, I hope I'm saying his name right. He made an assist for Tres Gay to score in the 100th minute. Who scored for Morocco? S. Buffal scored in the 6th minute. And I think, yeah, that was a penalty. You know, he scored for Morocco in the 6th minute. That was like the first goal of the game. So let's look at the stats, right? Shots. Morocco had more shots than Egypt. They had 16 shots. Egypt had 14, right? Shots on target. Morocco had 4 and Egypt had 5. Ball possession. Morocco had 45% and Egypt had 55%. 55%. Take note. Passes. Morocco had 388. No. Morocco had 383 passes and uh, Egypt had 458. Pass accuracy 68%. Morocco and 72%. Egypt. Fouls 18 and uh for morocco and 30 for egypt yellow cards two for morocco four for egypt red cards zero zero for both teams not none of the teams got a red card offsides two for egypt and two for morocco and corners three for morocco and six for egypt so basically overall performance of the team right i'm talking about both teams both teams actually played well you know what i'm trying to say but egypt ended up having the upper hand in the game and you remember I said in my last video, right? I gave a prediction. My prediction was actually right. My prediction was right. I said Egypt would win. You know what I'm saying? Because they have a little edge over Morocco. Because they have a player named Mo Salah. You know, I was saying something about the magical things some star players do for their for their both their national teams and their football clubs. And that's exactly what he did today. He gave an assist and he scored a goal. Wonderful play from Mo Salah. Wonderful play from the entire Egyptian team. And also wonderful play from Morocco. But you guys didn't win today, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's that about that as far as that is concerned. So, congratulations to Egypt, like I said. So, now, yeah, let's talk about the Senegal-Equatorial Guinea game, right? So, that was three goals to one. And uh, the first goal was scored by F. Point, like, that's his name. The first goal was scored by Diedu. Is it Diedu? I hope I'm saying his name right. 
in the 28th minute and Salah, no, not Salah. And Mane was one that made the assist for the goal in the 68th minute. So after that, um, Jay Buila scored in the 57th minute. Sorry, guys. Scored in the 57th minute for uh, Equatorial Guinea, right? It, it tied the game at that point. They were really happy. But they didn't actually know that, or maybe they knew, I don't know. They didn't know that Senegal was actually going to come back and score, you know, the, the second goal of the game. I mean, the third goal of the game, which put them 2-1 ahead. So it was Kuyate that scored in the 68 minutes, 6-8, right? And the last goal of the game, the Watford player, Sa. SARR scored in the 79th minute to wrap up the game and give Senegal the win. So big up to Senegal, big up to Sadio Mane, big up to all the Senegalese players and uh you know congratulations to them. You know, I wish them all the best in this competition. So this competition is getting hot. Senegal is hot, Egypt is hot, Cameroon is hot. You know what I'm trying to say? I wish Nigeria was still there. I'll have just said Nigeria is hot. So, hey, we're out. <laughs> So basically, let's look at the stats real quick um, of the game. So basically, um, Equatorial Guinea, they had seven shots, right? And Senegal had more. They had 11. Shots on target, two Equatorial Guinea, five Senegal. Possession, ball possession, 56% Equatorial Guinea. Oh, they have more possession than, than Senegal. Okay, cool. And Senegal, 44%. Uh, passes, 398. They even had more passes than, um, than Senegal. 398 passes and three that's for equatorial guinea and for senegal three one three passes pass accuracy 81 percent equatorial guinea 78 percent senegal fouls 19 uh for equatorial guinea and 23 senegal yellow cards one equatorial guinea two senegal red cards none none for both teams offside zero for equatorial guinea one for on um, one for senegal and corners one for equatorial guinea and four for senegal so long story short senegal came up on top congratulations to them like i said and uh yeah also yesterday i forgot to talk about the burkina faso won against tunisia right and you know the funny thing about that game a burkina faso player one of the burkina faso players got a red card and the funny <laughs> And you know the funny thing, right? It was the same guy who scored for them that got the red card. What? What a story, right? What a story. So he scored in the 48th minute of the game, right? So that was 45 plus 3, 48. You know what I'm saying? And then he got the red card in the 82nd minute. So that was Iwatara. D Uatara. I hope I'm saying his name right, but that's his name. So the, yeah. So basically, congratulations to all the teams that won. They eventually they came out on top actually. So they won against Tunisia by a goal to zero, and uh, Tunisia beat Nigeria. They were the one that knocked out Nigeria in the round of 16. But hey, I'm not gonna make fun of them. Trust me, I'm not gonna make fun of them. Or should I make fun of them? <laughs> so basically, guys, Egypt has qualified to the next stage. Senegal also and Burkina Faso. So yeah, I wish them all the best. But my prediction for the team that will be winning this year's AFCON is talk about the African Cup of Nation 2021 stroke 2022 is still Cameroon you know what I'm saying that's what I still stand on it might not be like that but that's just my own prediction you know what I'm saying but thank you guys for thank you guys for rocking with me thank you for the continued love and support i really appreciate it please if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do me a favor by subscribing right now click on the notification bell beside it so you can get notified whenever i post videos and also give this video a big thumbs up like this video so you can get to more people so you can go viral one africa thank you for watching <laughs> and i'll see you guys on the next one africa cover nations 2021, 2022. Peace. Sadiwani. Mohamed Salah. Ha.